What's the matter with you? Well, I just learned the consequence of our agreement. How will I ever tell Yum Yum, my little bride that was to have been? What? Was to have been? What, what do you mean? mean? Yes. She never can be mine. What? I have just ascertained that by the Mikado's law, when a married man is beheaded, his wife is buried alive. Buried alive? Buried alive? It's the most unpleasant death. Who did you get that from? Oh, from Pooba. He's my legal advisor. But he may be mistaken. So I thought. So I consulted the Attorney General, the Lord Chief of Justice, <laughs> the Master of the Rolls, the Judge Ordinary, and the Lord Chancellor. They're all of the same opinion. Never knew such unanimity on a point of law in my life. But stop a bit. This law has never been put in force. Not yet. You see, decapitation, flirting is the only crime punishable with decapitation. And married men never flirt. That's quite true. I forgot about that. Well, I suppose I may take it that my dream of happiness is at an end. Yum Yum loves you with all her heart, but I'm sure that when she agreed to marry you, she had no idea that, that she would have to be buried alive in any month. Nor I. It's the first I've heard of it. Oh, I must go tell her. It makes a difference, doesn't it? It does make a difference, of course. You see, buried alive is such a stuffy death. You see her difficulty, don't you? Yes, and I see my own. If I insist that she carry out her promise, I doom her to a hideous death. If I release her, she'll marry Coco at once. Here's a howdy do if she marries you. Well, the time has come to bury Sam, the maiden whom you cherish must be slaughtered too. Here's a howdy do, here's a howdy do. Pretty mess in a month or less. I must die without a wedding, let the bitter tears I'm shedding rest in wedding Here's the pretty mess. Here's the pretty mess. Here's a state of things. To her life she clings. Matrimonial devotion doesn't seem to suit her notion. Burial it brings. Here's the state of things. Here's the state of things. With a passion that's intense, I worship and adore. But the laws of common sense we oughtn't to ignore. If what I says is true, tis death to marry you. Here's a pretty state of things. Here's a pretty howdy do. Here's a pretty state of things. A pretty state of things. Here's a howdy do. Here's a howdy do. Here's a howdy do. Here's a howdy do. <laughs> Boy, if what I said is true, I cannot marry you. My poor boy, I'm quite sorry for you. <laughs> I'm sure you are, old fellow. <laughs> you see, I'm quite helpless. I quite see that. <laughs> I can't conceive of anything more distressing than to have one's marriage broken off at the last minute. But you shan't be disappointed for a wedding. You shall come to mine. That's very kind of you, but it's quite impossible. Why so? Today I die. What do you mean? I can't live without Yum Yum. This afternoon I carry out the happy dispatch. No, no. I can't allow that. Why not? Why, hang it all. You're under contract. You die by the hands of the public executioner in a month's time. What? If you kill yourself now, what's to become of me? 
I shall have to die in your place. I would certainly think so. Oh, now then, Lord Mayor, what is it? The Mikado and his suite are approaching the city and will be here in ten minutes. Oh, the Mikado. He's coming to see whether I have fulfilled his command. Now, you know, this is getting serious. A bargain's a bargain. And you really mustn't frustrate the end of justice by committing suicide. Why, as a man of honor and a gentleman, you are bound to die at the hands of the public executioner. Very well, then. Behead me. What now? Certainly at once. Drop it off, Coco. <laughs> Drop it off. <laughs> My good sir, I don't go about prepared to execute gentlemen at a moment's notice. Why, I never even kill a little fly. But still, as Lord High Executioner, oh, you must... Lord High Executioner, I've got to behead him in a month's time. I, I'm not ready yet. I mean to take lessons. I'm going to start with the guinea pig. And work my way up to the animal kingdom until I come to a second trombone. Why, you don't suppose that as a humane man, I'd have accepted the post of Lord High Executioner if I hadn't thought that the duties were purely nominal? I can't kill you. I can't do can't kill anything. Oh, come now, poor fellow. We all have unpleasant duties to perform at one time or another. Besides, what is it? If I don't mind, why should you? Remember, sooner or later it must be done. I must it? I'm not so sure about that. What do you mean? Why should I execute you? When writing out an affidavit that you've been executed, will do just as well. And here are plenty of witnesses. Here's the Lord Chief Justice, the Lord High Admiral, <laughs> Commander in Chief, Secretary of State for the Home Front, First Lord of the Treasury, <laughs> and the Chief Commissioner of Police. But, but where are they? There they are. <laughs> They'll all swear to it, won't you? Am I to understand that all of us high officers of state are required to perjure ourselves to ensure your safety? Why not? You'll be grossly insulted as usual. Uh, will the insult be cash down or at a date? A ready money transaction. Well, it will be useful discipline. <laughs> Very good. Choose your fiction and I'll endorse it. Ah, ah, family pride. How do you like that, my buck? <laughs> Life without yum yum. Oh, yum yum, yum yum. Bother yum yum. Commissioner, go and fetch yum yum. Now take yum yum. And marry Yum Yum. Only go away and never come back. Where is she? Dum Dum. Are you particularly busy? Yeah. You've got five minutes to spare. Yes. Good. Then go and fetch Yum Yum. Take her to the Archbishop of Titty Poo, and he'll marry her to Nanky Poo at once. But if she's sleeping at it, don't ask any questions. Just do as I say. Nanky Poo will explain all. But one moment. No, not for worlds. Oh, here he comes. No doubt to ascertain whether I have fulfilled his decree. But if he finds you alive, I shall have the greatest difficulty trying to persuade him I beheaded you. <laughs> Close call, lad. Here he comes. 